Well, let me tell you about the time I was sent to my room when I was five years old. It was the time Aunt Nellie came to visit. Aunt Nellie's the aunt that visits once every four years. She's also the aunt that pinches your cheeks until your blood vessels break. Well, she and Dad sat around the living room for about an hour talking about all those grown-up things. Finally, it came time to go out into the kitchen where Mom was getting ready to serve up her finest hot homemade vegetable soup. Aunt Nellie leaned over to take her first bite and splash, big as life, into the soup went Aunt Nellie's wig. The place went dead quiet for about 30 seconds. Then it all started. Ernie, that's my brother, began to shake. And he began to snicker, and I began to shake, and I began to snicker, and we snickered and shook and shook and snickered till I couldn't hold it back any longer. And we laughed so loud that we couldn't even hear what my dad was saying. Dad wasn't laughing. Go to your room, which we did immediately. We were sort of anxious to leave the scene of the drowning. Well, we closed the door and we laughed and we laughed and we laughed for a solid hour. And every time I tried to get control of myself, Tell Ernie he was seven, I was five, and we were old enough to have more self-control. I just kept remembering the sight of that big round hairpiece floating in the middle of all those green beans and carrots. And we'd laugh some more. Oh, we laughed and we laughed, we laughed for three and a half straight hours. So long that my dad said we couldn't even come out and kiss Aunt Nellie goodbye. Which was no great disappointment. Ernie and I was never big on kissing ants anyway. We have decided one thing, however. If Aunt Nellie ever comes back, we're gonna have to eat next door or give Aunt Nellie one big bottle of Elmer's glue.